<laughs> what happens when you are not the direct victim? Can you, should you, forgive a crime committed towards someone you love? He went to the park. I passed him on the way, so I just beeped and waved. So that would have been the last time I would have seen him alive. They got racially abused at the bus stop while they were waiting, and they walked away to get to the, to the next bus stop to get away from the confrontation. Two boys drove ahead of them and waited for them in the park. And then they attacked Anthony with an ice axe, and he didn't make it. The family of the murdered teenager, Anthony Walker, has made an emotional appeal for help in catching his... This has been a difficult day here in Highton for the local Anthony community. Anthony Walker was killed with an axe last Friday night. Police say the murder was racially motivated. I need to find out. Everyone's saying he needs to find out who did this to my little brother, my 18-year-old brother. They didn't go into detail, they just they told us that Anthony had been killed. All I remember at that time is just falling to the floor and I was crying. He had a lot of potential. He just loved playing basketball, he was a nice guy. Kids love him. He took time out for them. And you know, his passion was basketball. He teaches them basketball. He likes to rap, he likes to dance. So we teach kids all those things. Whenever I talk about him, it brings a smile to my face because when we were growing up, we were sort of the terrible two. So we used to do everything together. We could play football, but I was better. <laughs> it's just, just an ordinary guy who had that little something special. Detectives are questioning another two men arrested at Liverpool Airport last night. The two young men were immediately arrested on suspicion of murder. When I found out what happened, and then I found out who, who actually did it, um, I'd known them since school. One of the boys, in fact, I'd known since from nursery all the way up until year seven. I've known him for a long time, and for me, because we were at the same school, same area, I'm thinking, have, have we missed something? Is there something that we've missed? i seen those children grow up together. I saw them in the playground and sports day playing together. Uh, yeah, what they did, I don't condone what they did. It's terribly wrong. But I expect the law to work for me. It's not up to me to take revenge. This evening, his sister Dominique came to look at the tributes. Well, I've been here and back all day, so I just want to say thank you to everybody um, from the family. Um, it's helped us a lot. There's a lot of support from the community, a lot of support from everybody. I was approached by a reporter, and he asked me if I, find, if I could find it in my heart to forgive the killers of Anthony, knowing that I'm a woman of, obviously, a woman of God, a woman of faith. And I said, I stopped for a second and I was just like, I obviously had to think, but not, it wasn't, for me it probably seemed like a lifetime that I had to think, but it must have been less than a few seconds. And I said to him, I says, the Bible taught us that Jesus said 70 times 7 we must forgive and that's what we must do. And then the whole place went quiet because everyone else was just looking at me as if to say, oh my gosh, did she realise what she just said? Mum didn't speak for about a week after Acne died, she didn't say much. She was just wrapped up in grief. And then when she come home, she come like she just come over to me and give me a hug and she was just like, she started speaking. It was like, she, you know, it's sort of just a catalyst of, you know, start, it must have started something. Forgive those who sin against you as we forgive. We expect to be forgiven. That's why I chose to forgive. When you lose someone that you love, it hurts so much and the pain is constant. The way I, I portray it, it's like having a bag or a suitcase and you, you, you're packing anger, you're packing bitterness, resentment, revenge, 
and all the things that goes with unforgiveness. And I believe it's heavy weight. So I think if you offload the anger, offload the bitterness, offload the anger, and the, 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 all the things that goes into planning the revenge and carrying it through, that's too much. And losing my Anthony, that is a big weight to carry. And taking on those, too much for me. It would have been too much. So I chose that I do not wish to take on that. And it does help the healing process. It does help. If you harbour unforgiveness and anger and bitterness, it makes you unwell, I'd say. It's, it's, not, it's not healthy. I wouldn't say it's healthy to do that. And I think um, with me, I lost my best friend, my brother, my little brother at that. And it was hard for me at first to understand what forgiveness was. But I'm telling you now, two years on, I know what it is. And I practice it every day and it is an everyday thing.